Measuring metric lengths. If you have a ruler and it's a metric ruler, you'll see that it's measured in centimeters. It'll be labeled centimeters and there will be some lines on it with, and some numbers. You'll have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and it'll keep going. And then in between those numbers will be other lines. You'll have, but they'll be shorter. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there will be one in the middle of each, in between each of those numbers that's a little bit bigger. And then you'll see smaller ones in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it keeps going. Okay, each of those smaller lines represents a millimeter. So the big lines that are numbered is going to be one centimeter. So this will be one centimeter. And then the smaller are going to be millimeters. And if you were to count how many millimeters make up one centimeter, you would find that 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. If you counted one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten millimeters makes up one centimeter. So when we're measuring things as far as metric lengths, you'll have an object. Let's say we have let's say we have a pencil. And it kind of looks like this the number two on it. Let's say we have a pencil and it let's say it goes up to right here. So we start the pencil at the beginning of the ruler and then we measure it up and it it goes to two little lines past the four. And we want to say how long is that pencil in terms of centimeters and millimeters. Well, you would say it's four centimeters and two millimeters. Four centimeters and two millimeters. Now, if someone asks, well, what is that just in terms of millimeters? You would say, well, each centimeter is ten millimeters. So you could say well four centimeters would be forty millimeters and then you have two more so you'd have forty two millimeters now what if they said well how long is that pencil in terms of centimeters i don't want to even see millimeters i just want to see in terms of centimeters well if you remember decimals are a good way to divide things by ten for instance if you remember from the previous lesson you can have a whole and divide that up into ten tenths. So you can divide that whole into ten pieces and each of those pieces would be one tenth. That's the similar thing with centimeters and millimeters. If you picture this as one centimeter, then each of those ten pieces would be a millimeter. And remember if, if you wanted to say a number let's say 3.25 that would be written as 3 and 25 hundredths but if it was just a 3.2 it would be written as 3 and 2 tenths okay we can write a similar thing as far as measuring metric lengths and 42 millimeters or 4 centimeters and 2 millimeters could be written as 4.2 
two centimeters. And the point two represents two tenths of a centimeter. Each millimeter is the same thing as one tenth of a centimeter. So each millimeter is the same thing as one tenth of a centimeter. So if I said that I had 42 millimeters, that's the same thing as saying 42 tenths of a centimeter or 4 and 2 tenths of a centimeter because each millimeter is 1 tenth. So let's take a look at some different metric units of length. We have millimeters which is spelled M-I-L-L-I-M-E-T-E-R-S and it's abbreviated M-M and we know that one millimeter is the same thing as one-tenth of a centimeter and one millimeter is also the same thing as one thousandth of a meter. Now how does that work? If you have a meter, let's say this is one meter, there is one hundred centimeters, one hundred centimeters in the meter. I'm not going to draw all of them, but there's one hundred centimeters and each centimeter has ten millimeters. So in a meter there's actually 1,000 millimeters. So you can say one millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. So let's look at centimeters. So we've looked at millimeters. Let's look at centimeters. Centimeter is spelled like that and you can abbreviate CM for centimeter. One centimeter is the same thing as ten millimeters, which we've already talked about. But one centimeter in terms of meters is the same thing as one hundredth meter. And like we showed, there's one hundred centimeters in a meter. So if we had a meter and we divide it up into a hundred pieces, each of those pieces would be one centimeter. So therefore, one centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. Okay, now let's look at meters. Okay, a meter can be abbreviated M, and we can say one meter is equal to one thousand millimeters. One meter is also equal to 100 centimeters and one meter is equal to one thousandth of a kilometer because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So if you were in cross country and you were running a 5k the 5K stands for 5 kilometers, you would be running 5,000 meters. So 5,000 meters. So they could really call it a 5,000 M, but they call it a 5K. So that should give you a, a general idea of how measuring metric lengths works. Um, if this video was confusing or if it went too fast, I encourage you to start it from the beginning and watch again. Um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with pausing it while you take notes and then restarting it or rewatching it. 